Hey, Donnie Walker here. Who else, eh? I'm at the old Walker saw shop here. And I uh, just finished porting a couple of 500s. It's a beautiful fall day. Fall's so cool with all the yellow leaves, all the maple leaves dropping. The apple trees are all browning up. It's a nice time of year. I know you guys in the east have a lot nicer colors with all your leaf trees. But, yeah, just a beautiful morning. So, uh... I remember that Johnny's here at the old shop. We had we got old saws stashed everywhere. I just found a couple up on the shelf over there, and dug them dug them out and uh, brought them into my little room here. I just want to show them to you. They're pretty cool. I forgot I had these ones. Yep, beautiful day. Creek still flowing down below. We had a little rain last week. Yeah, you can see my shadow in there. In there. Hello, hello. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, I'll show you these saws I gathered up. Pretty neat. I'm just taking a little break here. Uh, after doing a couple 500 cylinders, now I got a 372 X start to do. So what did I find here? Wow, man! I just did a last video. I did a totally about the Frontier saw, made in Trail BC. This is a Remington. Is it ever cool? Super 754. Look at that. Really cool here on the side. Here's your your uh, run, choke, high and low speed jet. Uh, I think they use a, a four banks type clutch. Yeah, Remington. Look at this thing. It's a beast. It's really long. Cool model. There's the switch. Um, I don't know if this is a fast idle or anything. The throttle's not working, but it'll have to unseize everything. Oh, actually sort of works. It does turn over. Just a cool old sigh. Yeah, really neat Remington. Okay. <coughs> this Remington was actually made in Toronto, uh, 1965, 88 cc's. <coughs> it's a pretty big displacement saw. And the other one I just gathered up, yes, another Pioneer. Okay, this one is a model Made in Vancouver, BC by IEL, Industrial Engineering. <coughs> Pioneer RA6721I. 100 cc's that one. Built in 1957 to 1958. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if it turns over. <coughs> the rope doesn't work, but let me just try by turning the flywheel screen here. Oh yeah, it turns over. Bonus. Okay, this will be a runner. Both have old Tillots and HL carburetors on them. Cool. Third one I found, really cool. Holiday by Pioneer. I remember working on a few of these back in Toronto when I worked at Ron's, uh, Ron's uh, saw shop there. Chainsaw Clinic, Toronto, Downsview, Ontario. Hey Ron, Ron's, uh, Ron's Tree Service and Ron. Yeah, good old cool Pioneer. This was really made by the Pioneer Company, not IEL. So that was made in 1967 to 1969, 58 cc's. Good little homeowner or farm saw, eh? Yeah, so there's three cool early picks, eh? So what do you guys think, eh? We got to get this old Remington 754 into that 80 cc class? I say, yeah. It's just so cool, this thing. Let's just have a look at the old gas cap. Take the grunge off it. What does it say here? It's funny how these things run. We run so rich, eh? Okay. Gas cap says one pint of oil with two gallons of gasoline. One pint of oil to two gallons of gasoline. Wow, what's that ratio? <laughs> 20, 20 to 1? I don't know. I can figure that out though. Just a cool saw. I've never had one of these apart. I never even know I actually had it. Or we had it. Let's take this top off. See if what uh, what's underneath here. Should be the air filter and carburetor, eh? Oh, wow. Look at that thing. Is that ever cool? The carburetor's right on top. It looks like it's a case-fed reed, reed engine. Uh, good old Tillotson carburetor. 
Look at this air filter. Is that ever weird looking? Hey, okay. it's got a big spring that holds it. See if we can get it off. Here's the air filter. Look at that old flock air filter. Is that ever cool, man? So yeah, there's a, uh, looks like a manual oiler rod there maybe. I bet you that's what that is. And that's probably what this lever up top is. I bet you this, it does too. It pushes the plunger for a manual oiler. Maybe it doesn't have automatic oiler, but we'll find out when we dig into this one later on. You know me, I got a million projects on the go and never finish one. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, very cool. Very cool. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Um, I don't know why, but I've gotten the bug now, bitten by the bug to uh, to uh, go over old saws and just teach people what they're like and how they work and, you know, all the different ones, man. Every manufacturer is a little different. This Remington is totally, totally different than like that Pioneer way it's built or the old McCullough's there. I'm going to try to get a couple that are in around the same year mark, eh? Like this, this old uh, Pioneer here that I just showed you. It's very similar to that one I was taking apart that I uh, broke the case on and wasn't going to finish. But this one at least turns over, it's not seized up. So maybe we can make that a runner. And that thing's, what did I say? 100, 100 cc. Wow. It's a brute, man. Good old glass bowl air fill filter on it. Let's just pull the top off this one and have a look, eh? Oh, that off there. Look at that, cool. Old Tillerson as well. Hey, okay. old Tillerson on there as well. There's that cover that sits on top like that other Pioneer. Hey, okay. isn't that cool? Amazing split head, so it's got a head and cylinder. So a guy could uh, always think modifications, but we're not modified. We're just going to get running. Just a simple, simple throttle system. Another manual choke system. See how that lever pushes all that? I doubt it has an automatic. So yeah, cool old saw and the Pioneer Holiday. And I'm sure it's got an HS Tillotson on it as well. Hey, everyone used Tillotson. Best carburetors, okay? I think, Walbro's made some great ones too. Yep, old HS. So manual choke, high and low speed. Filter's still good. Yeah. We'll get this one going too one day not today not tomorrow not next month maybe the month after anyways pretty cool stuff just want to show you outside and these old saws more for the collection so oh yeah look at the tip on this bar too is that ever cool the old roller nose tip eh? okay sort of like the oregon original ones wonder who made this bar maybe oregon at the beginning Okay, keep your saw on the wood, stick in the ass, rub on the road, chainsaw on the wood. Uh, check out the walkersawshop.com online store. Have a great day. Keep fixing them.